Hey everybody, so I am on the way, whoa, what the world happened to that car? Woo! Anyway, I'm on the way out to the Skag dealer right now and it's gonna take a while because we are about, let me, does this camera flip around? Man, it sure doesn't. Anyways, I thought maybe it'd flip around whatever I'm recording. Um, but I don't know if you can see it in camera. It's about to come down. It's about to get really bad, so it's only 1.49, you can't see the sun, and traffic is stopping up here. It's gonna take like an hour to get out there, man. Anyways, going out to the Skag dealer today, Ag Pro. Never, you know, I never heard of Ag Pro um, until this whole Skag thing came up, and then I researched them, and you know, it's an awesome outfit. They do John Deere and Skag, and they do steel and all that stuff, but um, anyways, uh, the guys up there are Sevy, the, the store manager, Ron, um, yeah, those guys are just really cool up there. So they put together, um, you know, a, a fleet price on buying both machines. So we, um, we use Sheffield Financial, you know, unless we have the cash to do it. Um, so we're, uh, we got that all set up, all ready to go. And I'm um, on the way to go pick it up. Yep, here we go. That quick. And traffic went from 70 down to 25 all within what the last 30 40 seconds because people in Florida do not know how to drive when it rains it's amazing because this is clearly not always the sunshine state it rains like it'll get through the summertime where every day at four o'clock it rains it's like it's a set schedule um, anyways it's gonna pour we're gonna drive out I'm gonna pick up the equipment and it's probably pouring out there which really sucks because I have to uh, get some two by four, and I have to, um, you know, you know, use an impact wrench and put it in the ground, uh, or put it in the floor, you know, so the mower doesn't move around. So maybe doing this in a very humid, wet trailer. Anyways, um, let's go out here. We're running to Agro, and uh, they're putting a mulch kit on the 36 for me right now, so it should be ready by the time we get there. And sorry, I keep looking over at the phone instead of like at the camera. Um, all right, guys, let's uh, let's get through the rain. I'm gonna put this down so we can get through this safely. All right. This sucks. Come on, man. It's been almost 30 minutes, just creeping, and I'm only a few miles. This is the fastest we've gone yet. You know, it wasn't raining. And didn't even look like it was going to rain until they called and said, hey, man, uh, the cl clouds are beautiful, though, I think. I think it's freaking gorgeous. But uh, look at that. That's beautiful, man. But they it, it didn't even look like it was going to rain until they called and said, hey, dude, your mulch kit just came in. Um, you know, uh, we'll have it done within the hour. Come get it. So I went and grabbed the trailer. As soon as I got in the trailer, get on the, get on the little highway. Boom. Good thing it's only 150 and school is out for the summer today, suckas. So, you know, I got that going for me. All right, put this back up. Okay, righty, here we are. We are pulling up to Ag Pro. This is the dealership that is holding my machines hostage. So here we go. Here we are, guys. I don't know why I'm saying a hard time, having a hard time. Oh my God, I'm having a hard time talking. I mean, if I did all black trailers, that's sexy, man. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty pimp. I like that, man. If I did all black, that'd be sick. I love flat black. Anyway, um, this is AgPro, and they carry a whole bunch of John Deere's, and they carry Skag, and they're a steel dealer, and there's Ron, and there's one of my mowers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so let me, I don't know where I should pull up, but I'm just going to pull up right here and we're going to do this. I'm waiting to see if he can see me right here. Oh, he just turned around. <laughs> There's Ron. All right, man. Let me get out. Woohoo! All right. So here she is. This is my other, let's see that little sticker sold right here. Here we go. So this is AgPro. They're a steel dealer. John Deere and Skag. 
And here's Ron. What's up, brother? Good, good, good. They're almost done with your stand -up. All right, sweet. Yeah, I'm early. I thought it'd be a little later because it was raining everything. So uh, I don't have a name for it yet. But yeah, I'm gonna walk in the store and show okay. everybody around. Check this out. So, uh, heck yeah, man. Yee! So I'm picking that up. That's Ron. He's the man. So I'm gonna take you guys in here. And this is a pretty massive store, man. This used to be just a John Deere place. I um, mean, it was smaller the way that they did it all. Um, but this is really sweet how they have it all set up, man. I like it a lot. I mean, you know, it's killer that they also, you know, do quick pro roundup, gas tanks, all that kind of stuff. Let's go over here and see what they got on the wall. They got a bunch of steel, even though I'm still a Husqvarna 580 BTS fan. So they got all these steel products on the walls. I use Echo pole saws. The steel pole saws are very fat. They're awesome. Um, but I use the Echo pole saws. They're my favorite. They're just lighter. And, um, you know, I just love them. Ooh, look at that little, that little mini pole saw. What is this? HT-102? I've never even seen that before. So yeah, this is a this is a pretty sweet store, man. I wonder if all of them look like this. But yeah, this is pretty sick. So they have, you know, residential stuff, commercial stuff. I mean, look at the steel wall. This is a wet dream wall is what this is called. The dream of wetness, the wall of wetness. All right, man, so got another guy back there kicking out. I think that's Joel, the guy that handles all the finance stuff. Uh, but jeez, man, look at this. This is a wet dream. I'll take all of it. I'll get a shop just to hold all of this. I still haven't done the 700s yet, but I'm still a Husky fan. Oh, what do we got here? Woo! We got a diesel. Holy hell. All right, this is definitely overkill for me, but they do use these on the streets here, or I mean on the highways. They do a lot of highway mowings out here, and Skag is like the number one thing that they use down here in Florida for the highways. So I could probably see them using these diesels. This is insane. This is ridiculous, dude. Don't say it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this is what we call overkill. <laughs> yeah, that is sick, man. It's on sale, guys. Anyways, check these guys out, man. AgPro. Everybody here is awesome. Cool guys, laid back. I may get some string and a couple of gas cans while I'm here and waiting. All right, I'll uh, we'll get the V ride when they bring it out. We're gonna swing around here because I looked through the window earlier and I didn't recognize your face because you looked really tiny back here. I was like, oh, maybe that's Joel. <laughs> Not me. What's up? How you doing? This is Sevy. He's the man. This is his house. This is a big ass house. Last We're time I was in here, cabins. I don't remember this place being this big before you guys took it over. So my stuff's done, man. Awesome. So I'm gonna go roll out there. Thanks a lot, brother, Appreciate for everything. The yeah, absolutely. Have a good one. Yes, Thanks. sir. I'm gonna keep the AgPro stickers on there until they fall off. Do it. We'll All right, brother. More when they do. All right, man. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna walk out here. And we're going to, let's see, they gave me a bunch of swag, which is really nice and cool. I'll give this all to the guys, but of course, keep a couple of things for myself. So, let's get out here. Woo! This here is what we call sexy. Yeah. I just filled it up with gas for you. Oh, sweet, man. And uh, he's grabbing your extra parts. Oh, hell yeah. I don't need the flaps. You don't? No, they can just throw them away. I'm never going to use them. Okay. I'm just going to do a walk around. All right, so it's a 36 inch V ride. It's got the 19 horsepower FX 600 V. We got mulch kit slapped on it. Now this I've seen a lot of having to put some grip tape on it because when it gets slippery, your feet come off. So I've been, we'll hammer that up. But yeah, this thing is pretty sweet, man. I'm excited about this. How big's the tank, like seven or five? Uh, I think it's like 6.8. 6.8, all right, sweet. That's better than the Ford that I'm used to dealing with. So, 
All right, sweet. I'm gonna get this pulled in here and get this set up. All right, guys. So what I have to do first is I need to cut some wood up so I can place the mower in here. So that's what I need to do first. can bring this out about right here. I got my awesome impact. I'm gonna go right to the floor. That's done. Man, I love this impact. Put one on the back side. Usually I have this all blown out. That's right, so where we go about. Yeah, you guys are watching this actually. Okay. So we're gonna go about right there. I just give it a little bit of slack. So I hit the tire, it'll come off about right there. This is sweet. Kiss the tire, and back off right there. we're good to go sorry guys we're good to go right there so one thing I'm already loving about this whole setup is that the front end you know being a regular walk behind the distance between a sulky and the front of the mower is so much further than this this is so sweet right here I'll have to show you on the other trailer the difference you know so um, the tires use a little farther back and this is our one of these you know the forks already hitting the wall almost so being able to put the chainsaws down here on the floor like I like to do, I'm gonna build a shelf right here, obviously. Um, I'm gonna end up with more room. But yeah, what do you think, guys? This is, this is pretty massively nasty right now. I have orange in my truck, okay? I have orange in my truck. I've done red. I've done green. I've done yellow. And this is the first time I've owned orange. So let's throw those back in there. Yeah. Yeah, this is so sweet. This is so freaking awesome. All right, so I'm gonna put this up. So I gotta set the trailer up. I gotta set the trailer up still. Um, I went and got pretty much everything I needed. I probably need a couple little more things. Um, but this is what we're going to look like from the back. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. After you guys pointed it out, I pulled that flap down. There's actually bumpers in there for the guard. So that was, thanks for the tip guys. And I feel like a complete moron. And I think one of the dudes, one of the main guys from Skag told Ken, like, yeah, I'm sure the guys, um, you know, the hardcore Skag guys will bust his butt for that. So, and y'all did. And I think that's hilarious. You know that anyways, whatever. I mean, come on. I didn't know, you know, like. But this, cosmetically, is one of my favorite things about this mower, is that. I, I just love the look of things, obviously. And um, God, this looks so dope, dude. Look at this. 
you know? I'm not boasting, man. Like, I feel so grateful. I'm so giggity right now. I feel so grateful, it's ridiculous. Like, you just don't even know. This is beyond, this is like 3,000 Christmases. So if these mowers go over well, the third trailer we set up is gonna look just like this. So this is just beautiful. All right, guys, I gotta get going. So um, here's what we got going on. We picked up the mowers. I'll do a full review of the 36 when I have a time, when I have a chance at a different time. Um, but tomorrow, whoa, something's something is caught. What is it? Oh, there's some little piece of wood. Uh, but anyways, I'll do a review. Um, I'll do a review of the 36. And um, this is going to be so killer, man. I'm so excited. So excited, guys. I definitely am going to give a big shout out to AgPro because those guys went the extra mile to help out with everything. I'm um, sorry, I'm back here unlatching this. Those guys went the extra mile for everything. Um, very sweet, cool guys. Um, let me take this off of here, hold on. Gotta take it off the handle. Um, so anyway, the guys are awesome. Really like them a lot. What they are gonna do is um, they're gonna start giving me some equipment to demo. Um, so I'll be able to get a steel 700, pole saws, all that kind of stuff. Um, and we can start doing some really cool comparison. So if there's any steel equipment you guys want me to compare, um, or review that I don't have um, Just let me know and um, I'll see if we can get that going. Sorry the key anyways um, I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me um, I know I'm never that guy that says hit like and subscribe and all that but um, You know, it's just it's not me. There's nothing wrong with that. That's that's what you're supposed to do But um, I just really appreciate you know the community and all the help that um we all offer each other. So um, anything that you guys want to know about lawn stuff, equipment, or opinions, man, just feel free to hit me up. Instagram and you know Facebook page, I'm always on those too. Um, all right, guys, I got to get home. Peace out. Okay, guys, here they are. And you know how the saying goes, they will never look more beautiful than they look right now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm really stoked. That V-Ride is different just pulling it off and on the trailer. I've never pulled one. I've never ridden one before, and man, it's different. They're, uh, you got to get used to it. But these are a set of sick puppies, man. I just thought I'd just get a little video of them together hanging out in the front yard. The cleanest they will ever be is right now. Look at what's coming. Look at this. Yeah, it's not the Midwest, man. We do get hail. We do get some tornadoes. In North Florida lately, like the last decade, we've been real susceptible to tornadoes now. So it's weird. Um, obviously, they've happened here, but they've just been more frequently the last decade. So we have a couple of warnings today. But anyways, I wish it were like that over here. All right, guys. So I got the skags out. Um, I'm about to start getting uh, set up to grab the trailer i mean to uh you know start working on the trailer um but anyway um thanks for coming along with me today um this was a good day man this can be chalked up as just a really good day all right later guys